Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and I got my own sticker maker. That's right, so this is definitely the first video. It's not like this is the second time I've recorded this. So what happened was the first time I accidentally messed it up. So just pretend that this is the first time and everything went smoothly, okay? So here we go. So the first thing we're going to draw is we're going to draw a dragon, okay? I'm definitely not looking at a reference photo because I already, okay, I already drew this once before. So there was already another sticker where I made this cool design. And I accidentally put it through the machine, and I did something horrifically wrong, but it's okay. I figured out how to use it, so we're all good. We're, we're not going to jinx it. So, what, what I was thinking is I wanted to draw, like, a lightning dragon, right? So, oh, also, this whole video is going to be uncut, so whatever happens, happens. It's going to be exciting. I made one longer video a while ago, and you guys really seem to enjoy the longer ones. So, yeah, a longer video, you guys, it, it's good for me. I got more content, and you guys get more content to watch also, so... It's a win-win for everyone. But anyways, so I, the thing about drawing um, light types, this is going to be a light type, which is why it's a lightning bolt horn. It's hard to make the light type that looks aggressive, you know, like he's ready to go attack or kill their enemy, you know, because most of the time light types are more peaceful, I guess you could say. But that's why I like to make, that's why I, I got into this habit for a while of making light types very, um, like doing a, a bunch of lightning themed cards because that's like, that's for a while, so that's, that's my main method of, like, making them, you know, more aggressive, I guess. But recently, I, I found a way, like, I've been making robots and different stuff for the light types. So, yeah, I've been making more light types recently because we, I've been neglecting light types for a while. I don't know. I just, I really like drawing bad guys better. Just personally, it's way more fun. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't look as good as the first one, okay? Um, I'll show the, I'll show the first one in a little bit. Let me finish coloring this in. Yeah, the... the the first one definitely looked a little bit better than this. Let me just say that. Okay, but let me color it in. It's okay. We're just going to pretend like there was no first one. What first one? I'll show it at the end. But anyways, so the sticker maker is amazing. I'll show you guys how it works once I finish creating the sticker. But basically, all you have to do is, like, you put it in the machine, and then it comes out a sticker. So it's crazy. You've got to turn the knob. It's very automated, and I'm excited to use it. So, yeah, it's just funny because I had to make this video twice. I usually don't like re-recording videos, but this is a good one, so it's worth it. Okay, let me just do a little bit of shading here. Blend it in a little bit nicer. There we go. And then we're going to use lightning, like I said earlier. So let me just add the yellow effects. If you guys made it this far into the video, we're two minutes in. Make sure to like the video. Let's see if we can hit 40 likes. That's our light goal. 40 likes. You guys got this. I believe in you. It's funny because I usually don't set like goals, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll start doing that again. Let me know. Did you guys like that community post I uploaded? It was funny. You guys you guys had fun doing it. I, I made this community post that said, can we get the same number of votes? So I put, if you don't know, community posts, you can see them on the computer or on your phone. So if you have your iPad, you usually don't see it. Like on my iPad, I never see community posts, and that's where I watch all my videos. So with the community posts... Uh, you can like vote for things so i just put two things that both said yes and i said can we get these votes to be even so it had, it's been working out like everyone like one person votes and it's uneven but then someone votes again and then it's perfectly even so yeah it, it's pretty funny it works out and then and I, I i did that whole thing because i saw someone else do it and i was like you know what i'm gonna try this that's probably how things become popular you know one person does it then everyone else does it also that's how trends work i think there we go, we finished the dragon. We're going to do multiple at once because saving paper. That's the plan. Let me draw another one. We're, I'm going to draw the Shape Warrior because I just made a video showing the Shape Warrior archetype. Might as well draw it. It's the most recent card that I drew. I've been drawing him a lot. Let me draw him right here. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm having so much fun drawing the Shape Warrior because he's so not really quick and easy to draw. It's just like, I don't know, just fun, I guess you could say. Oh, uh, there we go. And there we go. Yeah, we're just drawing his feet in and his two hands. I don't know. I was going to I was gonna make both hands um, eyeglasses, but I thought maybe that one... Or not eyeglasses. Pirate hooks. Oh, my God. How did I draw him so fast? Holy smokes. Yeah, I've been drawing him a lot. Like, I drew him in my, in my planner when I'm bored. Pretty much anywhere you can think of because it's just so much fun. I really get in, like... Not, I just get in, like, a routine of drawing one card a lot that I end up liking. You know, like, for a while... I don't know if you guys remember when I drew, um, what's it called? That fish one. I gotta thank hard for this. I don't remember. I was playing a drawing game with my friend a while ago, like, ages ago, and I drew it. What was it? There was, like, a fish card. I can't remember what it was called right now. It Was it a shark? Oh, gosh. One of you guys out there know what I'm talking about. There was, like, an animal card. 
and I drew it. I don't usually draw a lot of animals, but I drew it, and I really drew them a lot. I forgot what it was, but for th there's always periods where I get really into drawing one artwork way too much. Okay, we're going to make one of his teeth gold or yellow to start it off. Two yellow teeth right there. We'll slap that on. And then we need turquoise, 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 turquoise. Or blue. Should we use, let's see. How does this color look? Is this the one we used before? Yeah, that's what we used before. Okay, we use this shade of blue. Also, in case you guys are wondering, well, there's a long silence there, sorry. Holy smokes. People are probably like, did the volume cut out? Are we just listening to intense breathing ASMR? That's not at all what's happening. I just forgot to talk. Sometimes you forget to commentate. I was going to say something, though. It was going to be life enriching. Don't you hate it when you forget to say something? Oh, well, it happens. <laughs> Let me just continue going. Oh, the mat. Oh, my God. I just lost my train of thought. My OCD. Or my ADD. I forgot. Anyway, anyways. I'm just kidding. I don't actually have that, but, um, uh, bad joke. Let me see. What was I going to say? No, I'm so energetic right now. It's hilarious. I don't know. I don't know why. It's kind of late at night. I mean, it's 930. Yeah, that's late at night for some people. I don't know. I've been going to bed late last night. I'm living the Thanksgiving life right now, you know, going to bed late, <laughs> staying up. It's, it's a Thanksgiving routine. That's what I think. That's, I think that's what happens to most people whenever they go on vacation, you know, that's like, um, when I went on um, summer break, man, my sleep schedule was just horrible then. Anyways, the mat. This is just my usual mat backwards. So, yeah. And if you guys want to check it out, remember, if you guys want to get any Dimension Battles products, they are available on the Game Crafter. You just got to look up Dimension Battles. Let me just finish coloring this in. Yeah, I just put it the other way so it can focus better. Because there's some people on the mat. It might be it might be kind of distracting. So, I want it for I want it to be easier for the camera to focus just on what I'm drawing, so I think it turns out a lot better when I do that. Here we go. Looking pretty snazzy. Let me draw a wave right here, and then another wave, and then a bigger wave right here with a water drop. Like that. Ba bam! Water. And time to color it in. Oh my gosh, these uncut videos really take a while. Okay, this would be so horrible if I make this whole video and then the sticker thing doesn't work. But trust me, I was able. To, my parents were able to figure it out. And then I haven't. I haven't tried it out though. That could be a recipe for disaster. But I got this. I believe in my abilities. Oops, I dropped my marker. That is such an L. <laughs> there you go. I picked up my marker. Point of view. You dropped your marker. There you go. We got my marker, and we're going to use baby blue. Again, I use baby blue a lot. It's just like the classic standard marker color that seems to work for me. And also, I used it for the other one, so why not use it again, you know? Because the thing is, I, I used it once, right? And I just kept on using it over and over again, and I was just thinking, wow, <laughs> it's so much fun using baby blue. Why, why not just keep on using it and coloring with it? So here I go, using baby blue again. I just keep on using it because... I, this marker dies so much like to say it's so easy to make a background with it You just kind of get in the routine of doing it. So I, I don't want to keep on using it too often It might get kind of boring. What should I do next? Should I write, should I write one that says dimension battles? Ooh, I'll do one that says set eight. That'll be cool because I just I'm almost done with set eight So that'll be perfect. Yes Yes, three Bob. We're gonna do set eight on a sticker Let me just write set Oh, no. The letters E and T are a lot bigger than I'm at. No, it's okay. Perfect. Set. Eight. Bam! That looks awesome. Let's go. First try. I, I was worried I was going to horrifically mess it up, but no. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Oh, here's the original dragon. See? The original... Originals always look a lot better. <laughs> um. Oh, darn it. I got marker on my hand. See, I, that seems to happen a lot. It's, it's a pattern that I've noticed. I get marker on my hand a lot. Yeah, the original the original one looked a lot better. The original one usually turns out better than the other ones, but that's okay. That's just the way it is. This is my dried out marker. I need to throw that away. Why do I have two of them? I don't know. Oh, well, I bought a replacement. There we go. We're going to use this marker because it's the new one that I got, the new Clementis. I use this color a lot. I used it for um that dragon with the orange. It was this color with an orange tail. Yeah, this color and orange work out very nice. Good color combo. You ever want a good color? Do dark lavender and orange, and it just looks perfect in my opinion. Let me color this in. I feel like I'm rushing it, but it's not because I have to go somewhere. I am just so excited to try out the sticker maker. It's thrilling. 
Okay. They've been waiting for so long. I mean, <laughs> I was just so excited. It, it kind of worked the first time, but it's okay. It's, it's exciting. Let me just finish adding in all these colors for set eight. And then for the last sticker, what should I do? What design should I do? Let me think. What should I draw? Hmm. I do not know what I want to draw. You know what? I'm going to go for it. We're just going to draw something brand new, something completely random. We got this. We're just going to go for it, okay? Whatever happens, happens. You, you guys are witnessing history in the making for a random card that I am creating right here. What is it going to be? I, the world may never know. Um, what are we going to do for this? Let's see. What, what, what kind of design am I making? Um, are we making an animal with legs? Sure. Why not? There we go. We're going to make two giant legs. And then we're going to do the steam effect right here that I like doing a lot. And then there's going to be lightning right here. It's like a beetle. There we go. Oh my god, that looks good. See, it just happens. We have lightning effects here. Could, no, too much light. Actually, this might be hair. Oh my, it's a knight. Oh my gosh, it's a knight. You guys can see it. It's a knight. Holy smokes, it looks good. <laughs> See, artwork just happens randomly. I don't really have a thought process. I just do it. I don't I don't know. Okay, let me let me finish. Let me make this look a little bit more night like, okay? So this is like a night creature. So we're gonna have it like this with little boot like things, I guess. Yeah, it's like an animal type deal. There we go. And it has like he has like fur also, I guess is what you could call that. Yeah, this is looking pretty nice. We'll go ahead and color this in. You might, you guys might see this as a new card coming up in the future. As a very possible thing. He has the knight armor and in the front legs only. There you go. It's kind of off to the side, but it's okay. You know, for, for drawing that first try, I would say that that came out really nice. And we're going to color it in gray because it's a knight. Beetle type vibe. Definitely looks like a beetle. I'm also coloring the boots and the back paws. There you go. And what should the main color be? Let me see. Um, what color do I feel like? Maybe green? Green question mark? I don't know. Do I feel like it could be green or maybe light blue? Let's see. I'm going to show my colors. It might be more entertaining for the video. What color should I use? The questions that I wonder every day. Um, gold? Yeah, I can see gold. Gold might be a good color. Sometimes I default to gold, but you know you can't go wrong with gold. Oops, the mat's falling down. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go with gold. I hope this is the right decision. Yeah, gold definitely looks awesome. Yeah, we made the right choice. Okay, and then we're going to color in the background right here. We can draw, let's see, we'll do a design. Should we do a design? Yeah, let's go for a design. Let's see, what colors do we have that could be good for a design? Um, let's just use a colored pencil, why not? Yeah, let's just use a colored pencil. Color it in turquoise. A little turquoise pattern right here and turquoise straight down the middle there we go okay we made four stickers and we're gonna stick them on my deck box once we make them the sticker form we just gotta not mess up this next part like i did in the first video. i mean what first video? <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like i make that joke so many times okay let's see here we go we got this the mat's falling down and everything but it's fine we're not gonna worry about a thing I'll just cut this out. Here we go. This uncut video. 14 minutes long. Probably the longest I've gone for talking in a Dimension Battles video. And there we go. We got it. Okay, let me go throw this out. You can see the back of the mat there. We might as well show the mat now. We can show it like we usually do. Oh, let me just turn that around. There we go. The mat's back and set up. Looking pretty nice. We're just going to cut the edge here to make it a little bit nice. I'm doing this off camera just so it's nice and even before we put it through the machine. How menacing does that sound? There we go. It's not at all menacing. Da, 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 da. We have it. 
create a sticker mini that's the brand <laughs> in case you're wondering in case you guys want to get this video is not sponsored by the way and let's put it in okay how does this okay i i hope i don't mess this up okay we put this in here we put it in here and we produce a sticker come on please produce a sticker for me Yes, yes, it's going, it's doing it, it's doing a thing, I think it's coming out, yes, it worked, okay, we did it a little, my, <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than the sheet, but that's okay, that's okay, you know, we're just gonna ignore that, it's, it pretty much worked, there we go, and we can just cut this right across here, and we have stickers. How awesome is that? Oh my God, that is incredible. Yes, we have stickers. Let's go. Holy smokes. Look at this, guys. It's like a real sticker sheet. Like when you go to the doctor's office, when you're like a little kid and they get your sticker sheet, it's just like that. Oh my God, <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, let me go cut this right here, straight down the middle, so it looks nice and clean, like stickers do, right here. And I'm going to make it so you can peel it also. That'll be so fun. Holy smokes. Yeah, because you can just peel this off. Let me just cut these apart. Cut it here. I'll cut this off just so it looks nice and crisp. Like, just like a real sticker, we have to peel it off in order to get to it. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. Who would have thought the day would come when we would be making Dimension Battle stickers? Isn't it just insane? Oh my gosh. There we go. Let me just throw this aside. Okay, we have our four stickers right here. Okay, we cut... Okay, we did a horrible job cutting. <laughs> Let me fix this. Let me just cut this a little bit neater. We can cut that part and put that to the side. And anywhere else. There we go. It's the top of set eight. This little bit should not be visible. Let me get that out. Be safe while using scissors. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We have our stickers. Let's go. Let's stick them on our deck box. Okay. Currently, we have this Green Lantern sticker I got from Burger King a while ago. And Green Lantern on the back. We're just going to move those around. we got to make room for the Dimension Bow stickers. We might stick it. We'll stick it right here. Perfect. Okay, we'll stick it right on the top there. So we know what set it is. Look at that. It's Look how satisfying this is. Just like a real sticker. Holy smokes. That is crazy. Okay, and there we go. It now says set eight right there. Let me, let me stick it back on. See, it's just like a real sticker. Even when you stick it back on, it can still stick and say set eight. That is insane. Okay, then we're going to stick another one on the side. We're going to put this knight on next. This one's sticky all around. This one was cut pretty well. We'll put this on right here. Stick it right on there. Look at this. <laughs> we're just sticking stickers on a deck box. This is just the best thing ever. I'm going to stick this one on the side because um, he's actually from the set, the Shape Warrior. One of the last cards for set eight. There we go. I'll have another shorter video uploaded next week. <laughs> kind of makes up for this one being so long. But then the week after that should be the all of set eight video. So yeah, there we go. We have the pirate right here on the side. Let me restick it again. Just so it looks a little bit neater. There you go. Holy smokes. I can't believe how well these are. Oh my gosh. This turned out amazing. Okay. Can I move this sticker? The question of the day. Will I be able to expertly, carefully move this sticker to the front? Yes. I did it. <laughs> All the pressure was on right there. There we go. And we're going to stick this one on the back. Kind of looks like Final Hope Dragon, actually, but metal, in metal form. Okay, that's it. It's stuck. It's a little bit crooked, but it's stuck. I didn't want to rip it off again. That would be unsatisfying to have so many ripped off like that. And there we go. These were my Dimension Battle stickers. This was really fun to make, and it came out really nice. So hopefully you guys did up enjoy this video. It wasn't homemade cards, but it's really similar. Something different. More cards for set 8 to come soon. And if you guys did up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye, guys.